Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to use an algebraic method to eliminate a parameter and try to identify the parametric curve. Okay, so this is the algebraic method. So we're going to get x equals t squared and y equals t. And if we notice, this is a very simple one. We have already a statement here that says y equals t. Right, so basically, we're going to take this t equals y, right? We're going to take this y and go, go here. So what do we end up? x equals y squared. This is the rectangular mode, rectangular form of this parametric equation, which is a parabola, right? It's a slitty parabola, something like this. Okay, now let's take a look on the graphing calculator. Okay, if you need to use a graphing calculator on the parametric mode, don't forget to change it if you need it. Click the mode button, choose parametric mode. Type in the guys. Okay, we're gonna use the T. Okay, T is right here located. Okay. And you're gonna get surprised something a little bit different. You're gonna just get half of the parabola Y. Because your window may be set up to start from zero. T stands usual for time in most of the problem or temperature. So the calculator is kind of set up to start from zero. If you want to see the whole parabola, then you have to adjust that which I did it right here. You notice this was a negative six. And then look at here what I get. I get the whole problem. Okay, which is good. You can see a different type of graphs in a TI-83, right? Let's graph that are not function using the parametric mode. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Squad for more help. Thank you.